I'm Daisy Buyanzi. I'm Husna Ismail Jira. I'm Joyce Kuria. Malamu Nodo Amunu. I am Mukami Kimoria. We are at the Art After Five Art Show, which is a nonprofit initiative to have established and up and coming artists find a venue to display their artwork and, and also to learn tips on interacting with the population, pushing their art showcasing their skills. The work that I did here was based on the women that fought for our country's independence and I feel that their stories have not exactly been told. So when it comes to Mashujade, we are mostly talking about the men and what they achieved and everything but we're not talking about what did the women do for us and what is the relevance of what they did to the war except you know the, the common things for bringing food, bringing water to the fighters and everything. They did that and we appreciate them for that but there's deeper stories to them. So my pieces are very emotive, they are very expressive. The face shows a lot of emotion, a lot of, and you can feel the stories from the lines on their faces, from the wrinkles. You can see that there are moments that they were determined, there are moments they were afraid, there are moments they were sad, there are moments, there are all sorts of feelings, but at the end of it all, I think what I was trying to portray with my latest series was um, just courage and the fact that women also really count when it comes to the struggle for our independence. I do single line kind of art. I love exploring uh, single continuous lines and, uh, and shapes and also color. Most of our works are based on Afrofuturism and also cassette futurism, which is basically the use of cassettes and boombox and the Walkman, the whole 80s vibe. And then we put the whole aspect of the Kenyan culture and then now we explore it and put the whole technological part in it or like the future part in it basically. Like this one we have, we named it Zilizopendwa. Behind this old man there's the cassette, he's presenting the cassette and the whole music, the Zilizopendwa music and everything. But that work is about a like, woman like Perfect, perfect body. Um, it's like with like like women looking the mirror, like feel like ugly, beautiful, like like feel like possible. Uh, it's like something. It's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong about. Nothing wrong with that. So, but um, it's like to we we. That woman we like what you thinking, what are you doing, what wrong wrong that if body is perfect, it's very perfect, that very comfortable. So and then that the body is like women like most people who want to bleed the thing but not to black is beautiful. Beautiful black. African people black. Then but the work about preference for them. It was amazing to be uh, exhibiting uh, alongside Nadia and Joyce, Mukami and, um, and Daisy. It's amazing and the turnout is amazing. Obviously the first one wasn't so good, the second one was kind of growing, but then by now it, it has caught up and everyone is coming and everyone is appreciating art. And I believe the Kenyan scene is actually the Kenyan art scene is actually changing because more people are now appreciating art as compared to before. We were here to support the female artists, of which their work is on point, and it's quite an encouragement to see such artworks, masterpieces, popping up in this world. It's kind of an interesting look into many different ways that all these women are are looking either at themselves or at social factors. Yes, it's very fascinating. African women are doing awesome stuff. So you should come to art after five each and every month. You stay kile wanawake wanafanya pia. Pia kuliko na wanaume wake enjoy art wanawake. So basically, Kenya is doing amazing stuff which is able to be recognized internationally and locally. The art scene in Kenya is dominated mostly by male artists and you can find female artists uh, putting on shows or if they're there, they are very little. It's hard to catch up with the guys because you have to do work that is actually on the same level. I'm uh, better than them, Sijui. 
there's just that feel like you have to you feel like you have to impress people not just show up as a female artist but make that like your presence known that's that's the pressure on female artists all the male artists that we've met they say that most of the women kind of dropped out of art because of their families because g you know some reasons all sorts of reasons but i think that you should always follow your dream like if that's what you're meant to do by all means let it let nothing stop you for sure do what you love and everything else will love you back. that's it that's where it's at that's you live a more satisfactory more fulfilling life and you get to earn from what you love you just less depression less sadness less anxiety <laughs> we are trying to make this um, a really big thing in Kenya for everyone to appreciate art, for everyone to buy art, for everyone to see art um, as also a full-time job, basically. And it's getting there. It's been quite an honor and a privilege to actually give back to the community to support this um, initiative. And we see it as a win-win because they get a space to show their work Art retains the culture, tells the culture, and actually um, allow young people to have a voice. I'm very excited for the future of the art industry in Kenya, and I'm very excited to see that there are more ladies coming in as well. Big ups, and I would like to urge them to keep the fire burning. <laughs>